here's another sample app that I put together. This one uses the mobile first mobile client access service on Bluemix for operational analytics and logging. And it uses the Watson language services for translation from English to either Spanish or French, and also the Watson speech to text service to speak the translated words. So it'll take text in English and then turn that into the other language. Now the text is actually coming from an optical character re recognition library. I hooked this into an open source optical character recognition library so I can take content um, from a picture and in this case we'll select one here that says alarm will sound when door opens. It will extract the text which we can see right here alarm will sound when door opens and then you can see here's a translation in Spanish alarma sonora cuando se abre puerta. I don't speak Spanish very well so that looks correct to me um, and then we can also, and we can have it speak back the translation. I can just tap the French button here and we can see um, we have the translation in French. And it can uh, speak the translation also. And that's using the Watson translation service and the Watson speech to text service. And now, um, just show one more thing, and it's not just these canned images. Let me go ahead and take a picture and we can see here it's extracted from there the visual display of quantitative information point affichage visuel des informations quantitatives edouard r tift Punto. La pantalla de información cuantitativa visual e de w a r d r t u f t. And there we have it. Um, this is based on the Tesseract open source OCR engine, which really only works really well with um, dark text on a light background. It's not natural scene OCR. And it's powered uh, by Bluemix on the back end. So it's got the Watson services for translation and the Watson services for um, speech generation and the mobile client access service to capture operational analytics for the app once it's out in the wild. Full source code for the sample is available on my GitHub account. And be sure to check out my blog for additional detail. Thanks.